Hey, so with the geometry ready, the next thing to do is create a joint chain, which is a kind of skeletal structure that drives the deformation. Um, and for me, the best place to put a, a joint chain is straight through the middle of the object. Let me show you what I mean. So if I uh, press um, so if I select the tail and I press Control one then that puts it into isolation mode um, and then next up I can either right click and select the vertices uh, or I can press F8 and that takes me into component mode where I can select the vertices uh, before I do that, I'm just going to select rigging so I can uh, select these cluster nodes from here or on the rigging shelf here, you can select clusters from here. So I'm going to select these vertices, create a cluster and the cluster creates is created in the middle of the selection. So its pivot is right in the middle of the group of vertices that we had uh, selected. Uh, just to illustrate that again, it's another cluster node. I'm going to put one there, uh, another one here, and then last one here, and there we there we are. Ah, there are all our clusters. So the next thing is to exit component mode by pressing F8 again and create a joint. Um, you can either select the joints from skeleton from the skeleton drop down menu or you can select it here from the rigging shelf. And I'm going to place it here and just call it something sensible. Uh, we're rigging the tail, so I'm going to call this tail and maybe you'd like to uh, specify whether it's uh, which side it's on or if it's in the middle so we could say tail underscore C for center and then we're going to use it to bind the skin so we'll call it bind and then concatenate it, is that it? Is that the word? Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, serialize it, call it 01. Uh, and then very simply it's uh, a case of snapping to the joints and a quick method of doing that is selecting the geometry, adding it to a layer, let's quickly rename the layer to something sensible and changing it to template mode now I can just select the tail and control V you can see there uh, no it's just V snap it to the joint so I'm going to press control D to duplicate the tail and because we've uh, concatenated it or serialized it it automatically renames and we're going to hold down V and snap that to the next cluster. Again, Control D to duplicate, V to snap. Control D to duplicate, V to snap. Control D to <laughs> duplicate, and V to snap. Cool, so there's a joint chain. Um, so uh, I'm going to get out of isolation mode. Not in isolation mode. Uh, yes, we were. Um, and then I've got no more use for these clusters, they've served their purpose, so I'm going to delete those and then I'm going to select the last joint in the chain and then select its immediate object, which, uh, its immediate parent which is going to be uh, the one before it and press P to parent it. I'm going to select this one and the one above, P to parent, this one and the one above, P to parent, all the way up until the first joint that we've created. And here's our joint chain in 
in, in the hierarchy, um, in its hierarchy, and you can go up and down it with the arrows. And you can see that as we go down the joint chain and up it, that all of the joints so far follow the world axis, which is Z, X and Y. And what we want to do is have the X axis running down the joint chain and in order to do that we're going to go to skeleton orient joint and we're going to go primary axis axis x secondary is y and then the last one is z and we're going to orient children selected joints and hit apply and you'll see now that X runs down the joint chain and all the way until the last one uh, the last joint has um, retained its uh, world orientation so we're going to go up to the orient joint checkbox hit orient joint to world which is a bit weird hit apply and now the last joint in the chain follows the orientation of its parent. Cool, so that's the tail done. Hey, next up we're going to apply joints to the eyes. Uh, but before I do that, it's probably worth pointing out that um, it's not strictly necessary uh, because we've already got the geometry uh, oriented to the character of the eye um, so we could simply just apply a controller to the geometry mesh itself and use that to drive the rotations but because this is a rigging tutorial um, it does give us the uh, opportunity to find out um, about uh, some of the uh, attributes of um, uh, joints. So what I'm going to do is create a joint here and I'm going to call it something relevant like uh, I left and it binds joint and then I'm going to select the uh, left eye mesh buffer with all the transforms that we need um, and go down to modify and I'm going to tear this off. Um, and we only need translation and rotation, uh, not scale. We don't want to scale any joints, so I'm going to click on those two. And here's the joint uh, oriented to the eye. Um, unfortunately, there is a slight problem. Uh, we happen to have some values on the rotation channels, so um, this isn't great. It's not ideal. Um, joints work much better if they've uh, got zeroed out um, rotations and it can cause um, problems with uh, certain things like applying constraints or um, uh, when Maya needs to find a bind pose. So what I'm going to do is uh, Control c Control v copy paste the rotations into joint orient like this and same again for the middle and for the last one and then I'm going to zero out the rotation values up here so all our uh, values have been copied into joint orient and you'll notice now that the joint uh, still follows the uh, uh, orientation of the eye but our rotation values are um, all now at zero and I'm just going to do the same for the right side, so create a joint, name it, and then select the right eye mesh buffer, uh, match translation, match rotation, select joint, go to the attribute editor, and control C, 
copy paste control V into joint orient like so and now zero out the rotations and there are eye joints and last of all I'm just going to do the same for um, the eyelids so I'm going to select the eyelid mesh buffer um, match translation rotation and then I'm going to oh, select the joint and call it something like eyelid left bind and then uh, before I do that you can see that it sort of occupies the same screen screen space as the left eye so visually I'm just going to give it a, a different radius so we know that there's a, a distinction between two joints that are very close together um, and then the same thing go up to rotate and copy and paste these values into joint orient like this and then zero out the rotations and last of all whoops um, and then last of all just do the same for the right eyelid so eyelid R bind then select the mesh buffer match translations rotations um, select the joint let's change the radius and go to the attribute editor and copy and paste these rotation values into joint orient and last of all zero out the rotations on the rotation attributes themselves and that should be that um, I do need to know why that joint is so big and that's our answer somehow I've managed to give it an arbitrary value I do apologize change that back to one um, so there are our eyelid and eye joints set up all right brilliant so uh, yeah cool now there are just a couple more joints that I'm going to create to complete the creation of the skeletal hierarchy uh, one is going to be a pivot for the tail joints so I'm going to create a joint and call it tail uh, pivot joint and I'm going to put that in the middle of the uh, body here uh, by simply um, holding down V to snap to joint and moving it up uh, in the Y axis and then the next joint I'm going to make is going to be the uh, body bind joint and that's going to occupy the same place so I'm going to give that a radius of 1 and going to switch all transforms like that so last of all I want to um, select the eye joints and the eyelid joints and lastly the body bind joint and press P so now all of the eye joints are parented to the body joint uh, next up I want to select the tail joint chain and um, select the tail pivot joint and press P so now the uh, tail has a new parent which is in the middle of the body and then last of all parent the uh, tail pivot joint to the body bind joint like so and that's our uh, skeletal hierarchy set up so the next thing to do is create controls for the uh, character Brilliant.